Hello, and welcome to my channel, The Adventures of Siberia. Guys, I went ahead and I recorded the episode. Um, I do apologize for the sound being a little bit too low. It was about 3 in the morning, could not make a lot of noise around here. But nevertheless, I wanted to go ahead and put that video out on the chain driller. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Well, here we are. So, on our last episode, I went ahead and I built this trailer right here, right? Two cargos, I went ahead and set everything up on it. it came out pretty awesome. Now, since the last episode, um, I've been playing around with the idea of a chain driller. Now, if you see my last video, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, it's the concept where you connect a bunch of hinges to create a chain, and at the end of those hinges, you have some drills that you are able to lower into the ground and pick up some ore. So what I've done here is this. I went ahead and I recreated another trailer. I still want to use this for something else, Originally, the idea was to create a, a remote control mining ship that would park there. Um, I think I'm going to go with maybe a welding ship now. And uh, instead, we are going to go ahead and uh, make the chain driller in survival. I dare do it. So wish me luck. Hopefully Clang treats me nicely today. So let me get started. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to get started by raising this section up a little bit. And uh, you'll be able to see a little, uh, why a little bit later, but the conveyor junction is going to go right on top here. And attached to that, we're going to have an advanced rotor attached to another conveyor junction. That is going to be the actual... Um, the wheel that's going to roll up the chain. So, let me go ahead and weld these up because these are going to be underneath. It'll just be easier to do that now. Okay. So, this is what I am thinking here. So, we have the three connection points of the conveyor system here. Then I can maybe do a few of these and this is how we will be connecting to the cargo since it's only transferring ore it should be just fine um, okay next step is to grab an advanced rotor um, it's not really necessary that your zero is pointing up on this one I just like doing that as a habit just to keep things uh, a little bit more in, the, in order Alright, so then we have this connection point. Yeah, this should work. Let's do that. Um, do I have enough to weld this one? I do. Perfect. Let's go ahead and weld this guy. And the reason I want to weld it is just so I can keep track of these conveyor, um, the conveyor junctions there. So, let's see. Oh no, I forgot to lock it. Let's go ahead and lock this. There we go. Um, okay, so what these are gonna be, they're kinda like the teeth that are gonna hold the chain in here. And essentially their job is to just guide the, the chain so it's always in the middle there. Is this how I want to do this? I think I want to change this design a little bit. I think it'll be a little bit nicer if I went with these. And then I can have like a little corner here, like so. So essentially, I'm going to have to do this all the way around the conveyor. OK. 
come on, get on there. Sorry. So this is what I mean here. So these guys and these guys. All right. So if I have those there on this edge, underneath and everywhere, then the chain's constantly being pulled to the middle there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that all the way around. I won't bore you guys with spinning this thing around and making that happen. Alright, so here we are. We got the wheel, we got the rotor, we got everything connected. Basically all of the necessities to get the chain going. So let's get started on the chain. We're going to need some hinges. And uh, on my last one, I started right here in the middle. And I just kept on going and going. So I couldn't go anymore. Um, okay. Can I place one there? Yes. Sweet. So yeah, it's kind of just gotta keep playing the game, you know. <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and uh, rotate this a little bit. So let's bring it to about right here. And uh, let's see how many more we can place here. It gets a little annoying to place them, but eventually you get them. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make materials for all of these and some drills, be right back. All right, right there, there we go. Okay, cool. Let me go ahead and um, let's start acknowledging these hinges. So, hinge. So, I want all of these incomplete ones, right? So, for now, I want to go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and remove their torque. And I think I should go ahead and do a hinge lock for now. And uh, it should help me when I start bringing this up again to about there. Okay, cool. So now I should be able to place a few more like so. Let's just keep going. Well, maybe not. Can we place one here? There we go. Come on. Ooh, got one. So yeah, it's kind of the name of the game there with this. You want to just keep trying to place them. <laughs> so, and walk when it's facing up, can we? There we go. Should be able to place one more. Right? Theory? There we go. And one more. And, and one more. There we go. Now it's getting a little easier. So yeah. I'm not even sure how many I want to go, but I'm going to go extra. It's better to have more than not enough. Then I'm going to roll it up. and Basically, I'm going to make it as long as I can roll it up there before it starts hitting stuff. So let's see. There we go, here we go. That might be long enough. I don't know. Alright, I think I think that should do it. Let's go ahead and get these hinges 
from here. And uh, let's see. All of them. Let's remove the lock and the torque. And they should all just lay flat now. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start welding these from this end. that we've got everything welded and rolled up um, I want to go ahead and uh, lock the hinges just get them all in the group here now I think this is all of them so let's just call it chain save and let's go ahead and lock all of these guys the reason I want to lock it is to just make my life a little bit more manageable here because the next step is to try to get the drills on here. So I should be able to place one of these. Oh god, this thing is so crazy. Uh, I did lock it, didn't I? And just lock. There we go. Okay. Hopefully that'll work. And, um, you know, technically I could just pop two drills here, but I kind of want to make it a little bit fancier. And I'm going to do one of these just uh, make it look like they're connected. This will give me one more block of distance. Uh, let's go ahead and add a drill. Right there. One there. And there we go. And there you go. Okay, cool. And uh, I know that I'm gonna need lights here. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop one on each side right there because I already know that that's where I'll need them. And down here we already have some on the trailer. Alrighty, let me go ahead and weld this stuff up and we'll be right back. Alright. As far as functionality, it is all here. Um, oh, forgot this guy. Now it's all connected and ready to roll. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do some greebling on it. And uh, I'll come back with the finished product that you can check out. All right, so let's go ahead and turn on these drills and start rotating the advanced rotor and releasing the chain. Um, I had the chains locked, so I had to go ahead and unlock them there just so that they can start moving freely. And as you can see here, it is starting to dig its way down and it's collecting a bunch of stone right now. Uh, we are about, I believe it was 17 meters above some silicon. So very soon here we should see um, the collection of some silicon into the cargo. The sorters back there, as you can see the uh, connectors are ejecting stone, doing what they're supposed to. They're set to just spit out stone right now. 
my buttons there I have set up uh, from top left you you have a reverse button for the advanced rotor uh, after that you have an on off to stop it if you need to after that I believe it was the lights um, I put the lights on the drill as you saw and also uh, on the sides of the trailer on the inside and right here you can see we have a bunch of silicon um, doing pretty well with that getting rid of the stone you know if I ran it I only ran it one time here but if I uh, were to run it one more time I'm sure I would have ended up with about 60k of silicon um, I think it's really cool that it does dangle around in this section here because you can kind of let it dangle around a little bit right at the sector where the minerals are and just by that motion it will collect extra than um, I believe a drill on the piston would um, that's just my opinion I have not done the math on that but it does kind of widen out down there as it's uh, wobbling around on the bottom set of buttons there we have an on off for the drills we have um, a uh, shear inertia tensors for all the hinges for the chain and also a chain lock so um, you know to keep it nice and steady when we are moving and uh, so far as you can see here it is pretty stable um, it's moving pretty well and doing what it's supposed to quite honestly um, I've said this before if it wasn't for the PCU cost of all these hinges it would actually be a very viable way of mining I believe so leave your thoughts on the comments guys thank you so very much for watching thanks for joining me and Andy here on the adventures of Siberia please don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll catch you on the next one thank you so much